down south trout mouth on YouTube. First time I'm getting that, uh, getting one from uh, down south trout mouth. Uh, by degas, do you mean getting the CO2 out? Does this affect pH? Uh, this is during one of the last live streams where I was talking about uh, degassing a beer and degassing a beer and uh, taking a pH reading on it. So this is one that I did uh, some prep for. Uh, so so check this out. Um, yes, you can degas uh, by utilizing a stir plate. Sometimes we will put it on a stir plate or pouring the beer from vessel to vessel 30 to 40 times. That's what we did at Sonder. All right. Uh, and yes, degassing a beer or removing its carbonation can slightly raise the pH. This is because carbon dioxide dissolved in beer forms carbonic acid, which contributes to the beer's acidity. When CO2 is removed, the concentration of carbonic acid decreases, leading to a minor increase in pH. The exact change in pH is generally small, usually in the range of 0.1 to 0.3 pH units. And that's going to depend on factors such as the beer's initial carb level, the specific the specific composition of the beer and its buffering capacity, meaning how much it would resist pH change. So like, for example, a uh, typical pale lager might have a pH of around 4.2 to 4.4 when carbonated, but after degassing, it might be closer to 4.3 to 4.5. Beers with higher carbonation levels, like certain Belgian styles, might experience a slightly more noticeable pH shift, closer to 0.3 pH units, again, because there's more in there. I'm referencing Coons and uh, Bamforth for this stuff. So